glad once more and humbled to to be in your your face to receive your attention and still speaking about unforgiveness and its effects previously we could talk of what happens to you if you don't forgive others and last day we saw that when you are deepest in the state of not forgiveness you are even willing to harm a person you seek him you only think you worst for that person but remember you need Jesus Christ <coughs> to the forgiveness i just want to see is somebody who have not forgiven is your enemy you have already termed him publicly is your enemy everyone who knows you can't hide it but listen to what the bible says of the 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 thirty statements why statements this great man solomon says in proverbs chapter 24 verse 17 this is what goes do not rejoice when your enemy falls and let not your heart be glad when he stumbles 18 lest the lord see it and be displeased and turn away his anger from him brother the wise saying the man who no one can be compared to the wisdom god gave him that if you are happy when your enemy falls when you rejoice in the heart when your enemy stumbles you make the lord see you and he is unhappy with you instead of being unhappy with that enemy of yours you are terming an enemy so he can change the worst he was going to do that person and does it to you so today you want to look at the steps you can follow to forgive others the first step which is very clear if you are to forgive others if you are to forgive people is to promise yourself that i'm going to forgive Mhm put on a smile you were very deep i want to claim you from the deepest level of scheming to hurt scheming to do evil but you promise yourself to forgive not because you want but because you are supposed to for your life to be okay you are supposed to to get out of the torment to get out of the guilt to get out of the limitations you are limited socially physically spiritually mentally and economically your things are not doing well because you have not forgiven you need the people for your business to go on you need the people for your spiritual life to grow you need the people to share with and the stress goes away therefore promise to forgive those people two you need to 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 list the people you want to forgive list them i'm saying listing them list the people you want to forgive who hurt you and as you list them state slow slowly in a few words write the way they hurt you and the way you felt when they hurt you mhm list them state the way they hurt you and how you felt when they hurt you mhm you are forg- you are beginning to forgive those who matter hurt you intentionally or accidentally and you can't tell whether accidentally or it was intentionally but look when you list out how you felt when they hurt you and the items and the things they did some of you lost jobs some of you got embarrassed yes that's the way you felt list them then what you do say what you do after that you are begin to forgive now set your heart out to forgive those people don't hide anything don't hide anything don't leave anything there for that person bring out everything open your heart now free and completely to those people now if you are free you will be free from all torments if you open your heart you are opening your heart out to become free from the torments from the guilt from the suffering my friends develop 
compassion for those people. Like in Matthew 18, 21, following 35, that master felt compassion for his, for his servant. He was moved with compassion. Be moved with compassion for those people. Ah, this is the way. You can be moved with compassion. There's no you cannot be, you can be moved with compassion if you don't remember the most important times this person was to your life. Why do I say like that? Because there are no people who call themselves enemies when they have never been friends. So remember the most great times you needed that person and he was there for you. Two, look, look at the circumstance. Which situation was that person? When he hurt you, what was prevailing? For example, maybe he was under the influence of alcohol. Maybe he was under the influence of the parent. Maybe he was under the influence of other friends. Remember the circumstances that that person was passing through. Maybe it was because of adolescence. Then also remember the good thing that person has ever done to you. Then you'll be moved with compassion. You'll be moved. You'll be compelled. You'll be pushed and convinced to forgive that person. Now that you have seen that, unlock that person. Unlock. Unlock where you locked, the padlocks. Mm -hmm. Look at that house, that structure you've built in your heart. Take, take the example of a dog in, a, in its house, in a cage, crying out for its master who is outside there. For it to get out, maybe if you don't go call. Take that example. That's how that person is in your heart. You have locked, you have thrown the keys, but you know where you threw them? There are four. You know where you threw them? Go and pick them, Andy. Open. Pick out. Open out. Make the door open. As he opens the door, he's going to get out. And as he gets out, you'll be able to mention what he did to you. And he mentioned this word that I forgive you. You did this. You hurt me. You embarrassed me. But I forgive you. I release you today. Ah, you're becoming to feel peace. You're starting to feel the peace that comes with the unlocking people. Completely forgive them. Complete those people for each wound they have caused to you. Each and every wound and the thing they have hurt you. Completely forgive them. Ah, Jesus Christ is begging, not me. Forgive them. Because you have seen, you have remembered the good thing they have done to you. Brethren who are also there. Bless these people and do good. The Bible says that when you bless, you'll be blessed. When you cast, that curse will remain back to you. Remember, our opening scripture said that you do not rejoice <clears throat> when your enemy is falling. Do not even feel joy in the heart when <clears throat> that person is stumbling. Because the Lord may turn the evil you would have done that person and comes back to you. Oh, my dear. Blessing them is the most, the most good duty you are called for. Please, please remember when you bless those who do harm to you, you would have fulfilled your highest calling in Jesus Christ. This is what Jesus Christ did. You'll be responding to the way Jesus Christ called you to, to, to do. Jesus was persecuted, but he did not curse anyone. So when you bless and do good, you'll be responding. You'll be, you'll be responding on the fulfillment of the highest calling that Jesus Christ called you for. Brethren, confess your sins that are related to unforgiveness. When you confess the sins you have committed, Maybe thinking evil, scheming evil, related to unforgiveness. You are not forgiven that person, and therefore you have done some evil thing because you wanted to pay back. For confess your sins. You see, when you don't forgive, you also sin. You all become sinners. The Lord will bless you. 
brethren as us are there. Share this with another person. That is a simple to forgive. Prepare to forgive. List the people you want to forgive. Please be able to list the items, the way they hurt you and the ones they caused. Then, after that, open your heart to forgive them. Remember the good I've ever done. Feel compassion with them. Remember the circumstances they are passing through. When you remember the circumstances, they were through to hurt you. Please open, unlock the inner heart's prison. Unlock that inner heart's prison and let them all in the middle. <clears throat> let them out. Bless them and do good. When bless them and do good, then you confess your sins related to unforgiveness. Wow, you have already forgiven this person. And the Lord will continue being with you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Meet you next time.